What's up? It's summer here. So I have another fun DIY trick for us to try at home. It's going to be a tropical inspired piece of artwork for your space. Um, it does not have to be tropical. However, if you want to do something different, you can certainly do so. Make it your own using the same technique with a little bit of materials. Um, I made one a couple of years ago that was really special to my heart and these are pressed flowers that I used here. Um, so you can really make it your own. But this little piece is going to be special to me because it's inspired from my hometown of Stewart, Florida. Stewart's a really small little town in southern Florida. It's super tropical, really beautiful. I feel so fortunate that I got to grow up there. I grew up wakeboarding and sailing and boating and fishing and snorkeling and swimming and, and surfing and all things that you can do living in a tropical uh, beach town. So. Um, every time that I go home, I'm always collecting seashells and sea glass and coral and just some really cool things and I've, I've held on to some of those things over the years and we are going to make something really cool out of it for my space. So let's check it out and let's get to it. Hey, what's up? So before we get started with our tropical piece of art, there's going to be a few items that you need to have on hand. So first off is a glue gun and some glue sticks to go in that bad boy. Um, I picked up this really cool shadow box frame. So you can get any kind of shadow box frame that you want or larger or whatever size that you need. I liked this one, I got it from Michaels. I like it because it has like a really pretty um, linen background to it, which is really nice. Um, and again, I am going to be using some items that I've collected from visiting back home. I have some really cool, look how great this stuff is guys. This is like legit real coral that I found on the beach um, of my hometown in Stewart. Um, so this is so, so pretty. I'm going to make a really cool tropical piece of art using this. I also have some um, sand dollars that I found. I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate that yet or not. I have a ton of um, sea glass and seashells in here that I might add to it. But again, you don't have to use, um, your theme doesn't have to be tropical or it doesn't have to be seashells. You can use whatever you want. You can use something like some dried flowers or pressed flowers. You could even use um, like a piece of artificial plant. like. This obviously won't fit in this frame that we have, but if we have a different size frame, uh, we can do that. So again, make it your own, make it special to you and custom to your space. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got our materials that we need here. I've got my, whoops, I've got my glue heating up. I'm gonna grab that and let it heat up a little bit more. Um, these shadow boxes are super easy to open. I'm just going to open this guy up here and we are going to then arrange how we want this um, and start gluing it down. So this is a good trick if you're going to be using like a piece of paper, like say for instance, you're going to use a um, concert ticket or maybe a letter or a drawing or something really cute. You could use these like little sewing pins just to tack it on. Um, they're cute and practical. Okay, so I'm basically gonna just like come up with a cute arrangement on here, how I want this, and then I'll come back to the glass um, because I don't wanna glue anything just yet until I'm happy with kinda, kinda how, it, how it's gonna look on here. I might wanna do something a little more simple, in my opinion, with all things design, like less is more. You don't overdo it. Um, so, Let's see what I can come up with here. So I'm just gonna keep playing. So 
so this is kind of what I came up with. I just felt like less is a little bit more in this case and I just liked it simple and pretty and so this is what I'm gonna go with and basically I'm just gonna hot glue this bad boy on. I just wanna make sure that I don't um, move anything or shift anything too, too much around so I'm just going to like make sure that I that I keep things where they are as I glue. Um, I may need an extension cord for my thing, but we wanna try not to do too crazy with the glue because although it's clear, it still can show on your project. So if you're using, um, again, if you're using something like paper, um, I would totally recommend using the pens, this like just little sewing pens. But if you're using something tactile, like an object, definitely do like a heavier duty glue, like a glue stick or a glue gun, um, or you can even use like a Gorilla Glue. So I'm gonna continue to glue on my coral here, and then we're gonna frame it up and see how it looks all hung up. Okay guys, so that was pretty easy. I just went ahead and I finished gluing everything and put all of my um, put all of my objects together and just simply glue gunned it. Um, glue gun can glue gun glue can get kind of sticky and tacky um, and it can leave like strings. So try and um, get those as they dry. Be careful because the glue gets very hot because it's a hot glue gun so be careful doing that but look how cute this is I think it's awesome and this is just a little homage to my home um, got all the coral at home on the beach don't worry I didn't harm any sea life um, so yeah this is something that you could do at home um, really minimal material super easy super fun and it's a good way to create something special and unique to your space i hope you guys liked this diy and i'll be coming to you guys with plenty of more don't worry um, i hope you guys are liking this stuff and if you want to help support me please subscribe to my channel at summer mark on youtube thanks guys